G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a really curious pre-algebra question for middle schoolers. It goes as follows. The product of the two 99-digit numbers, I'm not going to say them, this great big long number, 99 digits long, and this great big long number, 99 digits long. So the product of the two 99-digit numbers, bluch and bluch, uh, have thousands digit A and units digit B. What is the sum of A and B? Oh boy, this one makes me gulp. Let's see, so apparently uh, the product of these two numbers, if I multiply these two digit numbers, these two 99 digit numbers together, I'll get some great big long crazy answer that ends off with a thousands digit, which they called A. Uh, they don't care about the hundreds, they don't care about the tens, and a units digit B. So some great big long answer that goes, and A thousands, something hundreds, something tens, and B units. And the question wants, a plus B. Okay, again I'm going to say gulp. This question makes me really nervous. I mean, basically, well I can tell you, there's no way I'm going to multiply those two numbers together and get the answer and then just see what the last, uh, what, last digit and fourth last digit are. That would be crazy. There's no way I could do that. Alright, so, how can I avoid hard work? Well, I guess that's strategy number nine, avoid hard work. There must be a way to avoid doing all that work of the long multiplication of those two numbers together. Well, I can't help but notice we only care about the thousands and the ones digit, up to the thousands. In fact, we don't care about ten thousands or hundred thousands and so on. So maybe, I'm just thinking out loud here, I'm not quite sure, if I took this number and only looked up to, say, well, the units, tens, hundreds, and the thousands, I only care about that part of this number, and for the second number, up to the thousands of that. So really, this first number, okay, uh, again, it's going to be a bit messy, I'm just thinking out loud, is some crazy, crazy, crazy number, 30303, da, 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 that ends in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, that's right, 0, plus 303. I think I got that right. I want that times the next crazy number that also ends in 0, 0, 0, plus 505. I think I got that right. So the 5, the 0, the 5, and then a 0. Yep, and then oh, other crazy stuff. Yep, okay, I think I've got that right. Uh, what am I doing again? I want the thousands digit and the units digit. Oh, oh, right, so that means I don't actually care about the details from that point on. So maybe actually I can multiply these two together, ignoring the details, this part to the left. Sounds weird, but let me just try this out. This is really a great big multiplication problem. I'm not going to do all the details, but to me, multiplication is always just a big rectangle. I've got this crazy number, which is some multiple of, what's that, 10,000? So it's a multiple of 10,000. I'm just going to write that for all that. Gives some lazy. Plus 300 and plus a 3. Times this great big thing, which is another multiple of 10,000. And 500 and 5. Aha. So if I can work out the areas of each of these individual cells, I have this great big long product together, kind of ignoring the details that I don't care about. Great, for example, I can see this piece here is 3 times 5, 15. I can see this piece here is uh, 3 times 500, 1500. This piece is 3 times some great big multiple of 10,000, so there's going to be another multiple of 10,000. Ah, I bet I can keep filling this in. And I don't care about all the multiples of 10,000s, all I care about is the stuff to do with thousands and ones. I feel like this is going to work. I'm feeling really hopeful about this. In fact, I'm going to leave the details to you. Try filling in the rest of this grid, that is, get this long multiplication done, but only deep focusing on the parts we care about, and see if we really do get that fourth to last digit, the thousands digit, and the units digit, and if you got them, just add them together, and that must be the answer. Oh, cool, this makes me feel good now. So try it out, try it out. Get an answer, and then compare that answer with the essay that goes with this video, or compare results. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.